There are more than 200 moons in our solar system, but we know very little about them. Here's what we do know. The largest moon in the solar system is Ganymede. It's so massive that it has its own magnetic field, which scientists think is generated by the moon's iron core. But there are even bigger mysteries surrounding Ganymede. For example, why does it have such a strong magnetic field? And what's going on deep under its icy surface? Enceladus is another moon that has captured the attention of scientists. It's only about 500 kilometers wide, yet it has more than 100 known geysers that shoot water vapor into space. These geysers are so powerful that they've left behind a thin atmosphere on the moon's surface, and just like Earth's oceans, Enceladus's surface is constantly changing as new cracks form and old ones heal. Could this moon, with its active geology and potential for harboring life, be the next place we send a spacecraft to explore? Europa is slightly larger than our moon and is completely covered in ice. We know that there's a vast ocean beneath Europa's frozen crust, but we don't know how salty it is or if it could support life. Scientists think that the ocean could contain more than twice as much water as all of the water on Earth. Scientists are also puzzled by the strange behavior of Titan. It's the only moon in the solar system that has lakes on its surface, but they aren't made of water. They're made of hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. Titan also has the only known solid surface in the outer solar system. Could this moon be a candidate for future human colonization? Callisto is the most heavily cratered object in the solar system, even more cratered than our moon. It's possible that Callisto has been hit by more asteroids, simply because it's so close to Jupiter and Jupiter's gravity pulls in lots of space rocks. These are just a few of the many moons in our solar system that are hiding their secrets from us. As we continue to explore our cosmic backyard, we LL learn more about these fascinating worlds and what they can teach us about the history and evolution of our solar system. Maybe one day we'll even discover signs of life on one of these distant moons. If you love space as much as I do, then make sure to subscribe for more videos of Cosmos in a minute. And if you want to learn more about the amazing discoveries being made by NASA's rovers on Mars, check out my video on the latest rover.